everybody, welcome back to the episode of Lost Out of Survival Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day. Hopefully the most amazing variety that will get more fan for fantastic from here on out today. On the smorgasbord, we have a lots of loot coming our way. We have managed to track down the coordinates and location of a weapon stash stockpile that we are going to be blowing our way into via the usage of C4. We have also severed the finger of our enemies and we will use them to hack into the terminals of Bunker Alpha and get the goods that lie within, not to mention redeeming all of these coupons off our dead foes and getting even more loot and turning in these hard mode items I totally didn't forget to turn in last time. Don't know what you're talking about. And with the help of the healer who we had a little bit of a conversation and healing session with before, all the while, we're going to be boosted by something nifty in the form of 20% extra melee damage, which when taken into account with our sharp saw blade mace, makes for one of the deadliest and most fun weapons in the game that we're going to be putting to use. But first things first, let's toss in the bunker code to hack our way into here. Now we, through magical hacking sequences and totally not just finding it out off dead bodies and or potentially the internet 51490 is gonna be the code at the time of me putting it in in case that code is out of date by the time you yourselves try to put it in it's to get into bunker alpha in case you were hoping to use that code to help yourself out if that's out of date make sure to check that comment section down below her phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang and if you're not seeing it down below you could be the fan freaking fantastic lad and last you to go ahead and toss it down there and be of help to anyone who might be in need and requiring that sequence of numbers and spread a little bit of your own fan freaking fantastic listen check it out check it out over here we also have our fully modded machete with that gut hook blade and bone handle 38 base damage check out how amazing it is when it's 45 buffed damage with the help of that one buff and you guys don't even want to know how dope things get when we start taking into account the uh whatchamacallit the saw blade mace because that thing does 60 base damage plus 20 percent that's gonna be doing 72 damage by itself like bro look at this yeet never mind 73 damage i will now punch you to death oh you took my shoes dude that is not very cool of you. Hello, specialist. Activate bunker security protocol. You got it, boss. Let's activate that because that's how we're going to be getting access to the one who is blind in the depths down below, which will get us 10 red tickets in addition to more of these things that we could redeem over here at the specialist and get some stuff. You guys can see, though, all of these weapons that we have brought along for today's journey are newly fully modded pistols that we now have full access to but without further ado let's begin our hacking journey now dude speaking of hacking and journeys i cannot wait until a certain little thing starts to actually become useful and that is actually this bad boy over here the freaking uh whatchamacallit the hacker perk you can hack complex computer terminals currently it does not do anything but i can only imagine that it will be quite useful in the bunker since that is the main area where terminals do exist potentially in those lower or fifth and sixth floors that we were talking about just a little while ago maybe it'll be part of the way that you have to get into those lower floors but in the meantime currently it does not have a use and honestly dude what i think would be a pretty cool use is if it actually lets you hack into like this terminal over here that otherwise does require this finger that we severed off our enemies just kidding it was just there's just a dead guy who just so happened to have the proper security clearance so boop let's put that finger to use and dude i like i'm i'm baffled man can't we just like technically speaking recycle the finger you know like keep on using the same one like do we do we just use the finger on the fingerprint just like toss it out or something like that'll never come in handy again whoop just toss it over your shoulder like dude first off i don't want no finger littering going on second off we could definitely use that finger again like come on bro but that finger does unlock this little stash over here which is uh, honestly pretty freaking decent now, we we're getting a little bit thirsty so i went ahead and grabbed our uh, whatchamacall three extra beans and three daily uh waters that we do get every single day to go ahead and glug 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 uh power up and charge up on that but i mean within here this is kind of like what hacking and utilizing that severed finger of the army man does get us is this little secret room over here that finger is of course acquired through the military convoy with good luck and the rewards for it are pretty good like nothing out of this world without a doubt but you gotta admit like the band-aids decent 
Aluminum plate's always good. A pistol with actually a decent sight upon it. And obviously our ability to turn this thing from 20 damage, 3.3 speed, to 22 damage, 4.0 speed. Uh, quite the drastic difference in a couple of other like random things here or there. But kind of given what we know, I honestly think that it would be pretty cool if at least for now, Kafir did kind of make this perk that we were talking about do something. And I mean, currently with the way that terminals work and stuff, like, Kafir, I'm just saying like, I, I feel like we should be able, like this is a pretty complex terminal. The guy's a flipping finger for Pete's sake. F fingerprint scanner, whatever you want to call it. I feel like it'd be pretty cool if we could actually just like utilize this to actually hack into this terminal and until we do get like a proper use for it, it'd be a cool little way of rewarding an extremely rare perk that is literally less useful than every other perk in here. Every perk here like does something except that one pretty much. So I don't know. It is something that I would like to see happen, and I'd love to hear what you guys got to think about that in that comment section down below. Your guys' thoughts on that hacker perk, how you think it will come to use. Do you think that maybe, potentially, even be able to use it in the basements? That update that we can't expect that is next up on the roadmap. Potentially, that is where its use will come in handy. And hello, fast, but I just want to, yeah, yeet! I saw you in half there, big guy, and shotgun rain to you. I love the 80 damage flat that this thing is capable of. That is just a nice number to be inflicting. Let's see what we got within these things. And oh, not too shabby. We got a couple of medical supplies, a couple of decent loot ski doodles up in here. And within chest number two, we got, let's go! Two rifles, technically SMG, but we mod this thing to the point where it's pretty much like a better M16 and a fresh set of armor that we'll toss on for while we go and deal with that guy down below. And we do still have that weapon stash that we gotta break into a little bit later today, lads and lassies, in the form of that raid that we do have lined up because from doing a little bit of research, a little bit of scouting on the base, the entrails, that's a weird way of putting it, but the components, the innards, the loot chest compartments of that base do appear to be pretty promising. So obviously gonna be making our way over there and enjoying the bejesus out of that. In the meantime though, let's enjoy the bejesus out of a couple of these melee weapons that we have secured since we do have that melee weapon boost going on. And we got a couple of like relatively weak enemies to start off with. So hello, big boy. Goodbye, big boy. Two health. Oh my God, I couldn't get like one critical hit off on you. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting a couple hits off on you, my guy. Hopefully we don't die over here because we're starting to do a little bit of damage. Did I kill both the fast biters? Did I? Okay, I thought he was like sandwiched in the corner or something. Hey, you could eat a little bit of saw blade mace. Dude, usually that thing gets off. Okay, there we go. We'll get him with the slow-mo stab. That stab actually makes him attack slightly slower, giving it a little bit of pretty useful usefulness. But yeah, dude, usually the saw blade mace, it's like active skill is capable and usually like at least one of those three hits that it does in quick succession will actually end up being a uh, critical so kind of just like a little bit of bad luck on our end over there we do have the couple more boys over here we gotta deal with we might be able to get sneaky deaky and tbh might just be able to take out this dude over here and if we play our cards right we might be able to avoid that guy down there noticing us so can i maybe take you out yo oh sneaky deaky to the max and then you my friend can eat a little bit of that and half of his health is already done so my guy so we're gonna go ahead and try to lower his health a little bit more we should be able to get one more hit off and then i'm gonna try and this is a little bit of a madman style here to kill him from melee damage yeah yeet, before he blows up oh Stressful, we did it, okay, okay. Glad that that's been established. I was a little bit worried because as you know, that guy likes to blow up. I don't like blowing up. A little bit of a conflict of interest there. I think you guys can deduce why it's a uh, troubling issue, especially when you are at melee range with the dang dude. But as you guys are seeing, man, especially with that little ability that we got rocking, we are able to do some nice nombres on these dudes. Oh, that guy didn't even notice us. Well, I'll go ahead and actually just finish the job with a little bit of pistol drizzle here since uh, I'm not going to be able to get the sneak attack off on him. So we'll get the slow-mo shot off on him. Finish the job over there. Take some of his loot. And then why don't we go over to some shotgun rain to deal with this last little battalion of enemies. I know it's not a battalion. Battalions are a lot larger of a number. Every time I use that metaphor, someone points it out and calls me a dingus. I am a dingus, but not for that reason. Let me exaggerate in peace, god dang it. Uh, but... Yeah, I think we'll be fine with the shotgun rain, a little bit of pistol drizzle maybe for the cleanup crew. Actually, we'll go machete if there are any like lone survivors with like weird amounts of damage. So, hello big boys, make your way over here. I don't want to go through the gas yet. I will stab you so you hit me slightly slower. Shotgun rain, the lot of you. And okay, the lot of them totally survived. So, yeah, yeets, we're doing 24 damage a pop. We should be able to take out most of them. 
uh, thank you for that's what I'm talking about and if you're lucky they will even drop some of that stuff over there but I'm looking forward to the raid we got lined up for today it's been a while since we have had a raid set up so obviously going to be good to do that and especially from scouting the raid out it does appear like it's a good one it is going to be a very solid weapon stash we can blow our way into so we got some fun times lined up over there but definitely let me know what you guys do think about the hacker skill what you guys think at least of my idea of dude I don't know if it's such an extremely rare skill I feel like letting you bypass the finger every time you open up the bunker would be a pretty fair thing like I, I don't think it's too OP the stuff you get from it and I, I don't know maybe like I give you the ability to like reuse fingers i don't know something i feel like there should be something cool incorporated with that at least for now until there's future stuff like maybe in the basements when the basement shelter dungeons get added in which is slated to be that next update like i was talking about obviously that's gonna be a whole new smorgasbord of dopeness being opened up that potentially like maybe in those like underground shelters there will be like terminals and stuff that we could hack into since they're gonna be like kind of fallout shelters i imagine there could be technology and terminals down there that maybe could open up like safe rooms or locked rooms or something like that so let me know what you guys do think about that hacker perk let's hit you with the slow-mo over there my guy and i'll hit you with a little bit of the knife stabby uh hopefully this knife stabby can regenerate a little bit because in a little second here's gonna be whoop there we go we got that hit off let's get out of there before things get going and i'll go ahead and pump them full of this pistol drizzle over here then we'll go over to the kaleshnikov 47 hit you with the knife stab over there let that regenerate i'll let him go ahead and run into this wall really quickly we'll get out of the way we'll finish the job we're going to be ready to pull that trigger as necessary and in the meantime pump them full of all the bullets that we humanly can no 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 now i will stab you i will back up i will hit you with the slow-mo this gives us some time for our bayonet to recharge while we make our way over to alert number two. Oh, we got a 30 damage stab that time not too shabby if you ask me once he gets below 400 health i believe it is we should be able to have another round of that goodness is coming our way so he'll probably be doing his uh runny thingy majig over to that area i say no 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 not today stab in back hit with slow motion giving us some time to it looks like he freaking like glides across the floor when he's in slow-mo mode but gives us a little bit of time for our bayonet to recharge and to get that separation that we were hoping for and this might be our chance to get the finishing blows on him at least until our ak starts missing a lot of shots which it doesn't our recoil control is dang good on this fully modded one and there's the loot we're talking about we got a red ticket crate we got to go ahead and pop open and some of these hard mode items that we got to redeem but as we are doing that like i'm saying let me know what you guys do think about that hacker perk in that comment section down below and even if you guys have managed to get it so far i do know that it is an extremely rare perk so obviously it's a little bit tricky and especially like if you have the choice of the hacker and other stuff like you ought, like you probably want to pick it because it's extremely rare but if you think about it like it's not really useful or anything at the moment unlike the burglar skill unlike like a lot of the other skills so let me know if you guys do have it so far what you guys think of it what you guys think of my idea of making it useful for now and how you think it'll come into play in the future because personally bunker alpha and or the basement dungeons are where i think that that bad boy is gonna make it it's money 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 or maybe bunker charlie since bunker charlie if you guys do not know does appear like it is still inhabited by military people we've gone over this in some videos in the past it's something i could definitely go over again if it's something you guys would like to hear about but long story short there are lots of signs that indicate that bunker charlie is still inhabited by military personnel and it's potentially what's like sends out all the airdrops and stuff like that part of it of course being the fact it's on an island but there's a lot of factors that do go into that and with all that stuff kind of like coming into play maybe like we need to like sneak our way into there and use this hacker perk down the line but i mean we don't even have bunker bravo yet so that'd be a little bit down the line and i mean this thing needs a more immediate use i feel like so let me know what you guys think about all that type of jazz in that comment section it's down below and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the wiki twilight done at you touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button make sure subscribe that'll let you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when set it rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on full that weekly giveaway and whoa we got another c4 for the stock of pile <laughs> we'll go ahead and toss on some fresh military digs by the way since this swat armor is it's getting a little bit poopy we'll come back for that we got plenty of other loot we kind of got to prioritize grabbing here as you guys can see and oh sorry about the burp over there uh 
I am feeling like happy lad, happy camper at the time being. I will put you away for now. I will drink my hydration nation. And speaking of which, hey, if you guys got some water by you, take a sip of that. Make sure you're staying hydrated, lads and lasses. Don't want your boys and girls getting dehydrated or anything like that because it's an easy thing to stop paying attention to and just kind of be like, oh, dang, I haven't drank water in a while. But drinking water is good. The agua is bueno. So go ahead, uh, take a sip and uh, enjoy because I got a little bit of water empty water bottles by me so honestly as soon as i finish this video i'm gonna go and probably chug a little bit of water i haven't i haven't drank in a little while but all right the final time is here it is time for us to begin preparing we i mean we're already pretty freaking prepared we got our hatchets and our high explosives and an additional high explosive we just got by the way bless up for those red ticket crates part of the reason i love them so but then samsara over to the north it should be pretty decent. Like I'm saying, one C4 will hopefully make us some happy campers. It's not too expensive of a raid. It is a raid that does require a C4. So if you guys do come across Samsara, just something uh, to be aware of. But we're going to go ahead, uh, put this stuff away. This starts preparing for that and talking to y'all. And it's like, and we are looking mighty ready and for the trials and tribulations that await us ahead. We are bringing our shotgun along in unsilenced form, mainly because this bad boy is the king of a crowd control in terms of bang for your buck. And I mean, dude, it does the perfect amount of damage. 80 damage on the dot. And most enemies in raids have 80 health or 240 health or 300, I guess. But long story short, that is either one shotgun rain blast or three shotgun rain blasts. So either way, we're making pretty decent progress with any reason that we use that shotgun spread mod. Now, you cannot have shotgun spread and a silencer active at the same time, but that's okay. We should be able to get away with being a little bit louder during this little weapon stash stockpile raid that we got lined up for today. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start doing exactly that and making our way over there. Uh, going undercover, of course, being in our military outfit over here instead of our uh, usual SWAT armor that we try to rock. Listen, don't want them being suspicious or anything. You know, Papa Star, he's known for coming around in that SWAT armor. But uh, today, going a little bit incognito, maybe catch him a little bit off guard. You know, you never know. But either way, it could have positive effects and positive effects are good effects. And good effects are effects that I want. Wow, swimming in the water, swimming in the rope. Swimming in all that jazz over there, but that's all good because we're about to be swimming in a couple of things. Number one, C4. Number 1.5, I need to grab my C4 in the first place in order to be able to swim in the C4. Ultimately, number two and what number two is going to be is the boom produced by the C4. Number three, the stockpile that lies within here. So without further ado, a beep pop, boop boop, beep boop, beep, bada bing, bada boom. We are in three chests await us. There is also this other room over here. Trust me, that room pales in comparison to this room and isn't exactly as worthwhile the C4 from the research that I have done into here. But this room and these three chests will be making you pretty happy campers. Now I'm gonna try and okay there we go. We made a little bit of noise over here. Let's gather around a pop a star and try to hit him a lot and then get up in one giant bunch so I can go ahead and a shotgun rain you all and woo hit level 150 y'all Hit him with the slow-mo and then just uh, put the finishing touches on these guys. No, 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 no. Oh, he was trying, he was starting to wind back, cocking back the punch. Well, no, 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 not today. No punch for you. Level up for me a nice, even level 150. 50 levels away from the max. Is it 200 or 199? I'm not 100% sure. But it's not like uh, hitting level 200 isn't as important since you don't exactly have like any new recipes to unlock or anything like that after level 100. And unless your luck is bad, you're probably going to get most of the most important perks. There are a couple of minor perks we're still missing. But I mean, the big ones that we want, or especially since you get your choice of three perks at a time, like the ones we're kind of missing a couple levels of robber perk. I'd like one more level of good memory. But for the most part, man, we're swimming in the perks pretty nicely. So... I'm not too mad about that, but all right, let's make our way into nothing over there, nothing over there, nothing over there. Okay, so we got this last chest over here we got to break into. It is going to summon the enemy horde by chance. Are they cool? Y'all cool with me breaking tree things? They're cool with me breaking tree things. And oh, let's go. 
The good three things they are! VSS, AK-47, first aid kits, valuable metals, food, beans, the king of the nutrition. Along with that, in chest number two, mm, 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 there is part of that weapon supply stash that I was talking about. Literally a weapon still in its crate formation. As a wise star, okay, maybe not wise, as a star says quite a little bit. No whammy, 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 no whammy. That's decent. That's decent. It's better than the lead pipe. It's no gun, unfortunately, but still pretty good. We'll collect a couple of the ticket stuff like that. We got some oak out of this as well. Some food for the pups back at home. And in chest numero trace, shotgun rain awaits. Oh, this has been a net positive raid, if you ask me. Could that C4 have been used better? Like, if you get really lucky, maybe there's a better raid awaiting you. But this raid, all in all, pretty good, if you ask me. Now then, I will drink your drink, and I'll put this... Oh, hold on. Vitamin P in the back of your truck. We cool with that? Okay, we cool with that. Good to know. Good to know. Some people don't like the vitamin P in the back of the truck, and... I mean, I still pee in the back of the truck anyway, but it's nice to ask first. And this is a raid that we did get from the Raiders, so we need to ensure that the most valuable stuff we got out of this raid does go into here. The Raiders value electronic circuits very highly. Obviously, that one needs to go away as well. And if I am not mistaken, we do want the steel plate in there as well. They might value the oak and the copper a little bit, but for the most part, we have stashed away the most valuable things that there is to offer uh for the sake of completingness com completitude can't think of the word that i'm trying to think of but we're gonna break into this bad boy over here too that will probably summon the horde we'll just go ahead and let that horde stockpile up here because uh well we got the uh go-to horde exterminator known as shotgun rain ready and rearing to go we're gonna withstand a little bit of damage so be it shotgun rain to the almost lot of you we got a surviving fast biter over there let's do a little bit of loop the loops and pulls and pop him full of bullets oh oh he managed to get that hit off on me unfortunately this pistol is about to go so be it we'll let the shotgun rain recharge hit him with the shotgun rain blast oh and see you later the shotgun rain says off of Vitor shane and uh let's go and loot up the rest of what we can that chest not chest that workbench not so much worth it we'll put away the rest of those things, grab the rest of the things that seem like they might even kind of remotely be worth it in some parallel universe, and, uh, skedaddle on out of here, because uh, we pretty much got everything we would possibly want, everything we would possibly need. Oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. We do have an extra slot over there, extra thing we could toss in there, and all right, the question is, I'm not picking up the one alcohol bottle. Um, what to pick up from there? Maybe like the 50 scrap, I don't know. Scrap's versatile yeah that's all i got but with that said and with that done that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of last day on survival thank you guys a whole time for watching hi this was an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya